hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix if you are unable to access device security in windows security and you got the error standard hardware security not supported let's fix it guys you just need to check my video description for this link used in my video you just need to scroll down and select the download security health setup dot zip file click on it in here you just need to select the download option after getting download done you just need to select the show in folder right click on the zip file and extract all select extract after getting extract done you just need to right click on the security health setup.exe file and select copy it and after copying it go to local disk c in here you just need to search for windows folder and search for system 32 folder double click on it in here you just need to search for security health folder double click on it in here you just need to right click on it and paste it guys after pasting the file you just need to close it off here and go ahead and restart your pc guys after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved you just need to go back to the same location we saved you just need to right click on the security health setup exe file and select run as administrator and select yes once done you just need to go ahead and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the second solution guys the second solution you just need to go to search menu and type cmd right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to copy and paste this first command after pasting this first command and press enter after doing this first command you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your pc guys after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved you just need to copy the second command and again run command prompt as run as administrator and paste the second command after pasting the second command you just need to go ahead and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved you just need to copy the third and fourth command one by one and paste it guys Make sure you run the command prompt run as administrator. After doing this both commands, you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your PC guys. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the third solution guys. The third solution, you just need to check my video description for this link used in my video. You just need to scroll down under the create windows 11 installation media you just need to select download now and after getting download done you just need to click on the media creation tool and select yes select accept select next select iso file and select next and you just need to save to any location you want select save and save it guys and it started downloading guys after getting download done you just need to just double click on the file select to open in here you just need to double click on the setup.exe file and select yes now you just need to select next and follow the on-screen instruction and install it guys after installing the windows 11 you can check if the problem solved or not i hope one of these solution fixed your problem guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you